Hello, my name's David McClelland, and I'm a tech journalist and a presenter. And I'm here today to help you out with some of your tech queries. So now I'm going to show you how to flush your DNS cache. Now, first of all, what is DNS and what is a cache? Well, DNS stands for Domain Name Service. And put simply, it allows you to translate a friendly computer name, such as www.bbc.co.uk, into the internet address that the computers are known by. Think of it like a big telephone directory. We say to DNS, I want to go to google.com, for example, and it will translate that into the numbers that our computer needs to get there. Now, the cache bit. We often visit the same websites, and rather than repeatedly asking DNS, which is a computer somewhere on the internet, for the same address all the time, we store this information locally. Now, most of the time, that's absolutely fine. But sometimes, just like humans, we change addresses and we change telephone numbers. In circumstances like that, we might need to flush our DNS cache. So, I'll show you a couple of ways that you can do that. So what we do is click on the Start menu. Now how I do this is in the bottom, I'll type in CMD. And this brings up a little program, CMD, up here. CMD is short for Command Prompt. And very simply, type in exactly what you see me type in here. IPconfig, or one word, slash flush DNS and then press return. As you'll see here, it says that it's successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache and that means that it's deleted all of those local DNS addresses that we previously got stored on our computer. So the next time we go and visit a website, it will talk to the DNS server and make sure that it's got the most up-to-date information. And that's it. That's how you clear your DNS cache.